Get out of the city and into an adventure that moves the whole family. Prepare to be moved. The all new Nissan X Trail. Birdie Blue Denim Specialists. Levi's, A Brand, New. Rollers, Dr. Denim. SAFM News Briefing. Hello, I'm Alicia McFarlane. New details have been revealed about a triple fatal car crash in Queensland which killed a grandfather and two mothers. It's alleged Terry Bishop picked up a woman in distress on the side of a highway near Noosa before they were pursued by a 25-year-old man and rammed. Detective Superintendent Ben Fadian alleges the same driver rammed the car a second time, causing it to collide head-on with another vehicle. All three people in those vehicles were deceased. Following that, a 25-year-old man was located at the scene. He was taken to Gympie Hospital. Yesterday afternoon, that 25-year-old man has since been charged with three counts of murder. Rafferty Rolfe appeared in court today with no bail application made. One of the big unions has an idea to address Australia's housing shortage. Zach Smith from the CFMEU reckons a 40% super profit tax on the excess profits of big companies would raise enough money to build plenty of new places. The tax is designed such that it only kicks in for businesses with a turnover of $100 million or more. It would likely only apply to 0.3% of companies in Australia. The Water Minister is warning the federal government is short on H2O to reach its target for the Murray-Darling Basin plan. Tanya Plibersek says time is running out to complete the $13 billion project and an expansion past July 2024 is needed. They're short around 300,000 Olympic-sized swimming pools of water. Briefly, a new scam alert, this time targeting loyalty point programs. After this, there is no turning back. You sip the red can, the story ends. You sip the black can, you enter dreamland. And I show you just how good the truth can taste. <laughs> Take the Pepsi Max Taste Challenge. To sport, a boost for the Crows with Taylor Walker signing a new one-year deal to play on in 2024. To be 33 and get another year and, you know, just be able to perform this year. It's always been on the cards to play on. It's just a matter of getting it done at the right time and we've been able to do that. And the MCG is expecting a crowd of around 85,000 for the Friday night blockbuster between Carlton and Collingwood. Last year's round 23 clash between the rivals attracted a crowd of 88,000, the biggest home and away crowd in history between the two sides. Selling the family home, Miller, Juan and John put you first. This is SAFM Weather. 14 and cloudy for the rest of the day across the limestone coast. Tomorrow, top of 15 and some showers on Thursday. For the best sporting podcast from Australia and around the world, lift your game with listener. Download the app now and search sport to listen.